with an incredible pound 150 million, wealth, and hordes of enamored fans, he is undoubtedly the most recognizable millennial in the world. Harry Styles, the musical juggernaut and former One Direction sensation, is turning 30 today, so it should come as no surprise that he is organizing parties across the globe. However, pals believe that despite his enormous wealth and popularity, Harry won't be doing anything overly dramatic. According to one, Inch he prefers to do the understated, classy thing, not gaudy and over the top. The most anticipated guests are going to be Harry's best buddy James, Corden, and award-winning TV producer Ben Winston, who he looks up to. The actor's fiasse E. Taylor Russell is planning a few surprises for the star for his birthday, and his devoted mother N, 56, is planning to attend as well. Harry strives for perfection. According to his pal, he wants a fantastic birthday that he will remember for eternity. It's understandable that he would want the best. Because Harry has been a household name, and the breakthrough star of Britain's most popular all-male group since the Beatles for more than 13 years, starting when he was just 16 years old and had floppy hair. According to friends, Harry feels that his life is now starting to come together as he approaches this significant birthday. His closest friends tell me they have never seen him more enamored with a girlfriend and he has had many than they do with Taylor, a 29-year-old Canadian model and actress best known for her role as the face of Spanish fashion label Lanu, and her success on the sci-fi series Lost in Space on Netflix. Taylor, like Harry, is known to be a practical person. The two avoid luxury cars in favor of renting lime bikes, which go for just 27p per minute in London. Additionally, they have been spotted swimming together at the nearby Hampstead Ponds, which is close to Casa Styles. Despite his fame, sell-out concerts, and number one solo albums, he manages to maintain enough of a low profile to go around London unaccompanied, by a security detail, even to his favorite celebrity gym, Barry's Boot Camp. Never turn down a selfie with his devoted followers, he has said. Harry has had a lot of girlfriends over the years, but everything seems a little bit different with Taylor, a friend remarked. They just enjoy living their everyday lives together, with no ostentatious behavior. She is well known even without a large entourage or any controversy. That's not always the case with some of Harry's past relationships. Remarkably, at the age of 17, he dated the late Caroline Flack, a television presenter, who was 34. The relationship ended when Flack, who committed herself in February 2020, was subjected to such extreme trolling. In 2012, he became enamored with fellow megastar Taylor Swift, and they dated for around a year. He is credited with inspiring two of her songs style, and I Knew You Were Trouble. Following them were three models from Victoria's Secret, including Kata Shane Sion Kendall Jenner. They didn't endure very long. His successful solo album Fine Line was inspired by yet another model, Camille Rowe. The actress Olivia Wilde, who is nine years Harry's older, was the subject of his most recent long-term relationship. The two dated for nearly two years until late 2022. Not simply a gorgeous face, but a successful podcaster and published author, Emily Ratajkowski is an American sex icon who was spotted kissing him on the streets of Tokyo shortly after. Thus, if Harry has indeed found peace at last, it might not be too late. Harry has enjoyed the most successful career of all his One Direction colleagues, including Niall Horan, Zayn Malik, Liam Payne, and Lewis Tomlinson. His fame has only grown after the band disbanded in 2016 with 70 million records, sold, and 531 gigs, across, 34 countries. There have been three well-received solo albums the most recent of which, Harry's House, shot to the top of the global charts, both the US and UK charts, were topped, by the single, as it was. Successful acting ventures include lead parts in the blockbuster hits Don't Worry Darling from 2022, and the 2017 war epic Dunkirk. But his former bandmates have had different degrees of success. Since One Direction's initial rise to prominence in 2010, I have kept up with them. Not long after they'd formed as a band, I was asked to do an interview with them at the London headquarters of their record label, Psycho. When I got there, 
They were all bounding around like puppies and hugging me warmly. They were eager to share with me the extent to which their appearance on the X factor had altered their lives. I met the band when they were just starting to gain popularity, and I've been informed that as time went on and the band's reputation expanded into a massive worldwide force, fractures started to appear. They had enormous financial accounts, but the labor was exhausting. The band's devoted followers, dubbed directioners, would follow them around, making it impossible for the boys to go out for days at a time. Wherever they were staying, thousands would line up outside to catch a sight of their heroes. Although Harry responded to it with remarkable composure possibly due to his stable family background in Holmes Chapel, Cheshire, where his mother and kept a close E that hasn't been the case for his former bandmates. Liam Payne's disheveled appearance, in a video addressed to his 26 million Instagram followers, back in October frightened people. Liam, who was born in Wolverhampton, stated he was cancelling a run of shows in South America, with a heavy heart, because of a bad kidney infection. Friends expressed their concern for his future and well-being. It brought back memories of our initial meeting, when Liam seemed even more thrilled about his sudden success than the other band members. Wearing pants and a navy hoodie, he beamingly said that he was loving it, but he also sadly mentioned how much his mother Karen missed him and wept when he was gone. Notoriety followed, as Liam dated 10 years his senior, former girls allowed singer Cheryl Tweedy, who was a judge on The X Factor when he tried out in 2010. Not long after she gave birth to their six-year-old son, Bear. According to Liam's pals, the pregnancy was a big surprise for him, and as a result, he and Cheryl finally broke up. The band initially parted ways with Bradford native Ain Malik, in March, 2015 due to allegations that he was a regular user of illicit substances. After arriving late for a promotional trip in America, he shockingly left the mega group, only to appear grumpy and unintelligent in interviews. After his breakup with Little Mix singer Perry Edwards, friends now tell me that he was struggling with life back then. After relocating to Los Angeles in an effort to pursue a solo career, he started dating supermodel Gigi Hadid, with whom he eventually had a daughter, Kai. He was fired from his U.S. record company, RCA, in 2021, due to allegations that he was abusing cannabis and acting strangely. Soon later, following an apparent confrontation at the Pennsylvania house, where he had relocated in search of a peaceful life, he was accused of harassing Gigi and her mother Yolanda. Zane returned to the spotlight last week, when she went to several Paris Fashion Week presentations. Similar to Liam, Zane wasn't always impacted by celebrity. He came over to me at the Brit Awards for months, after our first meeting, saying he loved our interview, and that he recalled the red shirt I was wearing. Few pop stars are as polite as this, I promise. The One Direction curse also affected Lewis Tomlinson, the pint-sized beetle with hair. In 2017, Lewis returned to his beginnings as a judge on The X Factor, joining Simon Cowell, Robbie Williams, and Robbie's wife Ada Field, following the start of his solo career. Johanna Deakin, Lewis's mother, passed away from leukemia in December 2016, at the age of just 43. Every song I wrote felt, not pathetic, but that it lacked true meaning to me, Lewis stated at the time. Even more tragically, F. Lissett, his younger sister, passed away after an unintentional overdose, in March, 2019. Lewis started his own world tour in 2023, performing in venues that were notably smaller than Harry's. Happily, Niall Horan, the handsome Irishman who has long been considered the quiet one, appears to lead a more ordinary existence. He established his own golfer management organization a few years ago because he was eager to encourage ladies to play the game. Despite his estimated wealth of pound 40 million, he rarely makes news these days and divides his time between Los Angeles and London. As Harry enjoys his special day, one would ask what lies next for the guy who has it all. All we want is for him to settle down, get married, and start a family, a close friend of the celebrity adds. Isn't that just the cherry on top?